This video is an introduction to Smartsheet 10. We will begin by opening the Smartsheet 10 workspace by clicking Smartsheet 10 at the top of the screen. We will first demonstrate the process a coder would use to select an ICD-10 code from the index and tabular list. And then we will use the features available in Smartsheet 10 to search for the same code. We will begin by viewing only the index portion. Let's start with the common example by looking up hypertension. First, expand the H and then scroll down to hypertension. Here you will note the ICD-10 code for hypertension begins with I10. Now let's switch over to the tabular list. We are looking for code I10, so we must first find the chapter that includes the codes beginning with the letter I. In the case of I10, this would be chapter 9, Diseases of the Circulatory System. Here you will see I10 is in the third category, Hypertensive Diseases. If we expand I10 through I15 and select I10 Essential Hypertension, you'll notice there is an includes, excludes 1, and an excludes 2. Includes will further define or give examples for this category or code. Excludes 1 will list conditions and codes which should never be used along with this condition. And excludes 2 will list conditions that are not included in the above condition, but if applicable, an additional code may be used along with the selected code. Based on these descriptions, you can see that the code for hypertension should be I10, unless this is related to pregnancy. And the includes 2 note further explains that there might be an additional I60 or H35 code to fully code the condition. Now let's use Smartsheet 10's quick search capability. Typing hypertension in the search box immediately takes us to the I10 index section. Clicking the term in the index will then automatically open the item in the tabular. As you can see, using Smartsheet 10 is much more efficient than using the ICD-10 books. Now let's try using the dictionary included in the tabular. We will first close the index as this will not be needed. By searching migraine, you can see there are many options that include the term migraine. In this case, we want to focus on the high-level code. Clicking select will then jump to the G43 migraine code. Notice that at the top of the screen, the selected I10 code, G43 migraine, is red. This alerts the coder that they have not selected the most detailed ICD-10 code available. If we scroll down the page, you can see that there are other versions of the code which include a higher level of detail. When clicking on G43.0 and G43.00, the code remains red. However, when we click on G43.001, the code has turned green. This indicates that we have selected a code with the highest level of specificity. This feature of Smartsheet 10 encourages you to pick the best code available. It is important to provide sufficient detail in your patient charts to enable selecting codes at this level of detail. Remember that ICD-10 guidelines require you to select the most detailed code available to be considered a valid code. Let's go through one more example. In this example, I will search for dislocation jaw. Searching for dislocation jaw gives us two options to the right. The first, the code itself, and the second, a note. We will click select to view the ICD-10 code details of dislocation of jaw. Here you will see a pop-up prompting you to select the seventh character. ICD-10 guidelines require you to include this seventh character, if applicable, to be considered a valid code. The seventh character must also always be placed in the seventh position. Here, I will select D, subsequent encounter. Above, you can see how Smartsheet 10 automatically puts the seventh character in the correct location, including adding the required placeholders, the proper code being S03.0XXD. This concludes the introduction to Smartsheet 10. 
please be sure to watch our other videos for more information on Smartsheet 10.